Good day everyone. This is my report about the building arts. Timber scarcity. During the, the Mesopotamian and, and Egyptian time, they are having scarcity on timber or woods. So therefore, the bricks and stone are their primary materials in building those structures. However, building in brick and stone took different courses in two countries. Mesopotamian farm villages walls. The walls were first made of ram or kneaded clay, but this was replaced by sun-dried bricks made in oblong and rectangular open wood, wooded molds. So these are the examples of kneaded clay. So ato makita na ang kneaded clay is pwede siya for pots or vases. It can use uh, these clays are can be used for making pots or um, pots and vases. And also walls. These are the examples of sun dried bricks. So it is box form or wooded, wooded molds. From the word sun dried bricks, it is dried using the heat of the sun. So imagine that ang heat sa sun ang naga solidify sa every bricks. The next is kiln baked bricks. These bricks were expensive, so mahal siya na nga time. Therefore, they were used monumental building, monumental buildings only. This brick also are strong enough so that they could be projected over one another. So, kini siya mahalo ni siya nga kind of bricks na ginagamit na siya for monumental buildings, for uh, making monumental buildings. These are the examples of kiln brick bricks. So, makita na to nga ang mga bricks is ginabake siya like. Sa ilalom niya, gina, ginapile siya then sa ilalom, ginakuha ng heat para masolidify ang ever bricks. So, it makes it stronger. So, next is corbelling. This is a procedure. So, procedure where each layer of bricks were overhanging the one below. When two opposite walls are corbelled out until they meet, a corbelled arc or vault results. Examples of corbel or corbelling. So, these are the examples like Mahimo siyang design or it can, uh, the one brick is overhang to, overhang to another brick. So just like this, uh, just like this, this. So makita na itong uh, ginapatong-patong siya pero na nakausli gamay. Para makreate siyang forms or different uh, uh, designs. So in Assyrian times, the materials that being used to build in these times are made of concrete. So unsa may na as na concrete sa concrete. So it consists of lime, sand, and broken limestone. Limestones, natural stones played only small part of Mesopotamian architecture. So Mesopotamian structures, Mesopotamians are known as a uh, great uh, builder builders. So they can build monumental structures like the ancient temple towers of Ziggurat, the Tower of Babel, Babylon shrines, and also one of the seven wonders of ancient world, which is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. So this is the Tower of Babel, one of the highest structure that is built during Mesopotamian times. This is described in the Bible that has an impressive height. So it describes the Bible as uh, nindot, uh, grabe ka iyang kataas, no? So, walay makaprove kung unsa dyan siya kataas. Basta gimension sa Bible na nasa impressive height. So, next is Ziggurat. This structure was probably like one of the ancient temple towers and it is common in Mesopotamia. So, common siya sa Mesopotamia and I think ginayus na siya for worshipping their gods or having gatherings. So, dili sila magtapok-tapok sa Ziggurat. Okay? So next is Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The people believes that this is one of the structures during the Mesopotamian times. And it is very mysterious because of the trees, shrubs, and plants that grow in its roof and the difficulties in raising water to the gardens. They are still very much dark regarding the actual construction. So mysterioso ka ni siyang Hanging Gardens of Babylon, no? Kay uh, mga trees, plants, shrubs are grown in the 
rooftop or in the top of the the structure. So, wala sila kabalo giyon sa pagpadagan ang tubig para sila maka dilig sa itong mga trees. Imagine, ang trees na as ibabaw sa roof. So, it's very difficult to answer that question. So, now we will proceed to Egypt. So, these are the pictures um, uh, of Egypt. There is pyramid, um, the three pyramids that is built during the Egyptian time. So, Egyptian architectures and its materials. So, natural stone abounded in eastern and western desert regions. Hence, Egypt developed the use of natural stone in architecture. It was used for major buildings only. So, natural stone, sto, uh, stone rather, um, is developed as the, the primary uh, materials for making those architectures in Egyptian time. So, it is used for uh, major use on build, buildings only, no? So, the ordinary houses in Egypt were first built of reed bundles or mud bricks or latter of sun-dried bricks. But kiln-baked bricks were rarely used in Egypt until a much later date. And also the earliest graves and public buildings were also made of mud bricks. So, ang, or, ang mga ordinary houses sa Egypt, so ginagamit nila is mud bricks or um, sun-dried sun bricks. But ang kiln-baked bricks, wala kay siya ginagamit during in Egypt, uh, Egyptian times. So, wala kay dili kay familiar sa ilahan ni nga um, kind of material or dili kay lagi nagamit. And sa mga earliest graves nila, ginagamit po nila ang mud bricks. So, next is um, Egyptian houses that is made of mud bricks or kneaded clay. So, mura siya yung example no, sa mga houses na nagagamit o mud bricks or kneaded clay for, uh, for making those uh, houses. The Pyramid of King Zoser, uh, Joser at Zagara, 2600 BC. The walls of the Pyramid of King Joser are made up of natural stones. So, natural stone jud ang ilahang ginagamit sa paghimo sa mga walls sa pyramid no? during the time of King Joser. Um, natural stones ilang primary na materials jud. Then, the ceremonial buildings also that surrounds the pyramid is made up also with natural stones. So, makita na to ang uh, natural stones yun ang pinaka-primary na materials sa Egyptian times para mag-build og mga um, buildings or structures like walls and other things na gamit nila ang natural stone. So, kinsa ni si Vizier Emothep. He is the first engineer and the architect known as by name. And he is he was later worshipped as the god of wisdom and medicine. So, grabe no? First engineer and architect. So, but sa iyang pagka-architect o pagka-engineer, he was later worshipped as the god of wisdom and medicine. So, Imhotep started using small brick-sized blocks of limestones, stacking walls and pillars in small black masonry, and then shaping them on the spot to imitate reed pillars and walls. As the work proceeded, he precut larger blocks, blocks of stone to be stuck and thus discovered the elementary rules of building in natural stone, experimenting to explore the possibilities of new building materials. So, sa ilang pag-build sa mga, mga structures, si Imhotep ka-experiment sa mga possibilities nga mga bagong materials na ilang magamit para sa ilang pagtukod sa ilang buildings. Mastabas. So, what is mastabas? These are the earliest times of pharaohs. Rectangular stru structures with inward sloping walls set over underground chambers containing the burial pit, the chapels, and the rooms for funeral gifts and offerings. The mastabas had originally been made of mud brick. They now became monuments of natural stone. So, mo siya example sa mastabas. Uh, makita na to diri ginalubong or uh, ginalubong sa mga mga um, Egyptian ang ilang mga pharaohs so na sa ilalom na siya chamber na makita na to diri ang uh, sa ilalom gid siya ibutang ang mga thumbs no sa pinaka ubos the mastaba structure evolved first in step pyramid form and then into the true smooth sided pyramid 
So next is the Great Pyramid of King Khufu. So the Great Pyramid of King Khufu, one of the greatest royal tombs in Egyptian time. So mona siya pinaka uh, great uh, tombs in Egyptian time. Kanang kwan kay siya, ilado kay siya nga tombs during the Egyptian time. The pyramid contains some 2,300,000 fortan limestone blocks, the joint, joints of which were chiseled on the spot, feet tightly without mortar, and in the core of which corridors and chambers were constructed. This pyramid, which still stands today, measured 756 feet square, and it is based and rose to a high of 480 feet, making it another of the wonders of the ancient world and indeed of all time. The huge limestone blocks were quarried on the east bank of Nile. So this pyramid naga exist Japan siya until today. So ang yung katas on is seven, uh, 480 feet and it is measured measured as uh, 756 feet square sa iyang base no. So makita niya po na siya hantod karon dito sa Egypt. So gideklara gyud Japan siya nga Isa, isa siya sa wonders of the ancient world. Now, these are the ex, uh, these are the examples or photos of the Great Pyramid of King Khufu. So, makita nung taas yun siya, no? And naa siya murag statue sa atubangan. It's like a uh, lion nga murag tao ang iyahang nao. So, next. The pyramid was finished off with slabs or polished granite quarried and brought down from Aswan. The construction of the pyramid shows that what can be done by sheer organization without much in the way of devices, these great constructions represent a triumph of human organization rather than of machines and tools. So, grabe yun siya ang kuan sa una sa mga tao. Kay nagtinabangay yun sila, no? Dili lang kay ginagamit sila mga machines. Pareha ka ron nga nanatay mga modern technologies or machines nga ginapadali ang atong trabaho pero during that time ang mga tao nagkaisa jud sila sa pag build, build ana so ang mga mga limestone na lang gamit is gikan sa Nile River so Nile River the building of the entire city of temporary huts to house the workmen the removal of debris the supplying materials and tools and the feeding of the host of workmen as many as 100,000 at a time were organi organizational problems of enormous proportion so that um so mona siya akong report about the building art so nagkalain-laing uh, structures materials sa duha ka uh, times sa Mesopotamian times and sa Egyptian time so na siya mga kalahian sila mga materials og sa ilang pamaagi sa pagbuild sa ilang mga structures so during sa Mesopotamian times tag as ilang mga buildings or structures but uh, same sa Egypt, pero lahi, lahi lang yun sila mga materials na ginagamit para ma-himo ang mga structures. So, that's all for my report for the building arts. So, good day everyone and thank you.